Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a really quick impromptu video. I don't even think I've combed my hair today. Um, today is a rest day for me, but um, I'm just sitting here with a massager on my back because I've got some back pain from lifting my daughter. But uh, I just wanted to share, I guess, just openly because I know people seem to really appreciate the times that I'm raw and honest and open. I guess I always am, but in a more vulnerable way, I guess. Um, but before I get into it, I just wanted to mention that I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching again. My calendar is open. So if you want to chat, then I have a free 15-minute consultation, a 30-minute call, a 60-minute call, and then I've put together session packages that are at a further discounted rate um, to my already low rates. I am offering my coaching at lower rates than other places you might find online. So I will put the link to my online booking calendar in the description of this video. And I will put the link to my website as well. If you want to check out more about my story, um, you can read more about it there. You can also book sessions through that as well. So if it looks like I'm moving, I have this massager on my back. But um, And then I am unable to respond to emails anymore. I'm just finding it really difficult to be able to keep up with it. It's becoming quite a time constraint for me. So I encourage you, if you have questions to ask me, just book a free 15 minute consultation. There's no obligation at all. It's just a time for us to chat and connect. And if you just have a few questions and, or you just need a quick note of encouragement or just to find out if maybe it would be helpful to chat further, just book that consultation. And like I said, there's no obligation, but Anyway, I was just chatting with someone um, that I've gotten pretty close to and this person is, is having a really difficult time and was describing to me about their day and how they said, you know, it feels like I have two brains. I appear normal, but at the same time, my mind is tormenting me. It's like on another side of my brain or it's like there's a second brain that's tormenting me while my one brain is appearing normal and trying to do normal things and it got me really emotional and I messaged them back and was just saying that's exactly how I described myself for four years you know either that I had a split brain or why well, I think I used split brain rather than two brains and I just would try to do normal things and my mind or the other part of my mind would just be looping non-stop sorry I'm, I'm probably gonna get emotional I'm just feeling emotional today. I don't, I don't know why. I guess, well, I'll tell you why. Um, so I, I remember this time back in 2019. So I was about 18 months off citalopram. So I was in my first withdrawal. I hadn't taken benzos yet or gotten poly drugged. I didn't have a movement disorder yet and I didn't have things like tinnitus, but I had a lot of very bad mental looping. Um, I've talked about that very in a lot of my videos, very much so. Um, but I just remembered this one particular time and I was trying to decorate gingerbread houses with my niece and nephew. It was around Christmas time, which is a time that I've always loved. It's always been my favorite time of year, or one of my favorite times of year, um, other than the summer. And I was just going to spend it with my niece and nephew. And we were doing something that I would have enjoyed doing. And we had went to the candy store and picked up our candy and... We were about to decorate these houses and I just, every time I would turn my head, move my eyes, it's, I don't know what it is about head movement or eye movement. I hear this from a lot of people people where they'll say, I, every time I turn my head or every time I look a certain way or look any direction, I'll get, you know, whatever, a brain zap or vertigo or visual snow or after images or whatever their bothersome symptom is. I don't know what it is if our brain and body becomes so overactive that any type of movement just stimulates things further. I don't know what it is, but that's how mine felt. Every time I would move at all, it would just loop, 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 mental looping. And it was just the most gory, horrific thoughts and images imaginable that I don't even want to describe. They were so horrific. And I'm standing there and trying to do this enjoyable thing and my mind is just absolutely gone. Like it was just gone. And I look back at photos from that time and I'm like, it's so difficult to even look at them because I was just, I was just so out of my mind. I was just so out of my mind. Um, and today I was at the shop with my daughter 
and I was in a Christmas mood this morning for some reason. I guess because the weather's getting quite cool here in Canada and it, it's, it's crisp in the air, like it could start to snow. And we often have snow already this time of year, although we don't yet. But um, we were at the shop and so I had, I had my daughter in sort of this Christmassy outfit. It was just a red shirt that said on it, best gift ever, which really um, encapsulates how I feel about her. And then she had these tights on that had little bows on them and little boots. I wish I'd have taken, taken a photo. She's just having a nap now. <clears throat> and we were at the shop and they were putting up Christmas decorations. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. You know, like, I can think clearly again. And I don't have violent images in my head every second of the day. It ruined so many holidays for me. It ruined so many special occasions for me because I just could not get out of my head and it was such a difficult you know sometimes people will see me getting emotional in these videos and think oh you're not over it you're not recovered but it's one of those things where you know when you go through say a death of someone close it's like you feel like you've grieved and you feel like you've um dealt with it but there can just be random triggers even years down the line you know where it just takes you back for a little bit of time and you have a cry and you move on um, and that's how I feel sometimes, you know, I, it was, but this is like a good cry in a way. It's, it's bad because it's, it's hard to rethink, uh, and relive those times, but it's also like tears of happiness because I don't feel that way anymore. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to Christmas and can celebrate it in a way that my mind and body wouldn't let me for four and a half years. Um, so I just wanted to share that, you know, if you're feeling that way, you know, the holidays are coming up. And if you're thinking, my God, like, I'll never enjoy any holidays ever again, you know, it's, everything's ruined, I'm so traumatized, um, or you're still actively in symptoms, um, or both. Uh, it, it doesn't always have to be that way. And it won't always be that way. It's just, uh, I think, I mean, all of the symptoms are horrendous. The mental symptoms for me are just on another level. Um, just so horrific and yeah, I just, I guess I just wanted to share that. So if you're feeling that way, just know that it, it, you won't always feel that way and the old you is still in there and you will be able to enjoy those times and those things and hobbies and whatever that you once enjoyed. So I just had to share that and, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Sorry, my voice is quivering. It's just, it's, it's emotional, but, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.